Hey guys, welcome back to The Compound. It's been a while, but we're back in the studio with some new repaint videos, and we'll be kicking things off doing a repaint on this really cool, uh, bear with me, I did the phonetic spelling on the package, Zuanhanosaurus. <laughs> okay, we're gonna be doing a repaint on this guy, and I have finally been able to find some relatively new figures, yeah, but lately, you know, it's just been slim pickings in my area for any of the new mainline stuff, and the pegs have just been clogged with old Dominion figures. Uh, but I lucked out, and I found this guy and that really cool Macaw Pyro Raptor, which I will be repainting in the next video. But today, we're going to focus on this one, and we're going to do a simple repaint and just try to enhance the sculpt and take it to the next level. So let's break out the rule of cool and get started. So I don't have any plans on what I want this to look like in the end. I'm just kind of going off the top of my head and I'm going to make it up as I go along pretty much. Uh, the first thing I want to do is cover up the blue deco on the snout and I want to make the base skin all one color. For that, I'll be dropping a little stonewall gray into my airbrush just to cover up those patterns. Since the factory skin is sort of a pale ghostly white, which I do like, uh, but a lot of the details, however, get lost on that light colored plastic so i want to keep that vibe um, but i kind of want to go for more of a darker pale gray skin tone so to achieve that i'll start off by giving it a heavy wash in apple barrel pavement gray and i'm just going to work that down into all of the recessed areas to provide a dark base to build off of and i'm not really worried about being too neat here since i will be painting over the fur later on but once i get the wash down i'll give it a quick blast with my heat gun and then we can move on and start to light up the skin and uh, get all those details to start popping out so now that the wash is fully dried I'm gonna start going back over that figure with a dry brushing of stonewall gray and then after that pass I'll add a little bit of white to the stonewall gray creating a brighter highlight color and then I'll do a final pass with that and the end result should give the skin tone a stone like appearance now to create the ghostly pale gray skin effect that I want I'm gonna take some very thin white paint and I'll lightly glaze it over the figure using my airbrush which should give the skin a uniform color but also let the shape shading and the highlights show through. So with the skin tone done, now I'm gonna grab some transparent burnt umber and I'll start to cut in the feathery fur parts. And I'm just letting it flow naturally down into the recessed areas to create shading. And once it's dry, it'll have variations of dark fur and lighter fur, kind of creating depth in it. Afterwards, we can go back over with highlight colors to really make the fur pop. So now I'm gonna grab some white and give him a pale white underbelly just to kind of separate his belly from the rest of his skin. That way he's just not all one solid color all around. And then I'll take some pavement gray and I'll thin that down and I'll do the exact opposite on the top side by applying a darker stripe from the top of his head all the way down to the tip of his tail. And then I'll go back over that dark gray with a very light dry brushing of stonewall gray just to tie the dark gray and the mid gray together. And that should be enough to blend those two colors to give it a natural fade. All right, so turning back to the feathers and we're gonna go ahead and finish these things off. First, I'm gonna go in with some Beastie Brown for my very first highlight pass, just hitting the very edges of the fur. And then I'll do my final highlight with Leather Brown and that'll really make those sculpted feathers pop. So the main body is done and now it is time for all of the final details. Starting off first with the mouth, um, I'm going to give that a couple of coats of Barbarian Flesh followed by a Flesh Shade Wash and then I'll hit all of those stubby little teeth with some off-white and I think a bright blue eye would pop really nicely against that gray skin so I'll go ahead and drop that in there really carefully. I'll hit all the claws with some black and then I'll seal him up with a couple of coats of matte varnish just to lock all that paint in and this feathery little dude is done and ready to rock and roll. So as always, I appreciate you guys stopping by the compound and hanging out with me. If you give this or any repaint a shot, remember to tag me in your photos over on Instagram because I love seeing the stuff that you guys can come up with. In the meantime, if you need more Jurassic related content, you know where to find it. Links will be in the description box below. You guys take care and I'll see you around the compound.